All right, I've got my estate washer. Of course, it's a Whirlpool washer. Excellent condition. It's running through a pretty heavy jeans and towel load right now. And I've got the little bleach guy goes right there. Just got all that clean. Everything's clean inside and out. And as you can hear, it's doing an excellent job agitating those clothes, which is how they get clean. And we are on the rinse portion of that cycle right now. What I'm going to do is allow it to finish up the cycle and I'm going to let you uh, see and hear the spin cycle. So you can see that it runs good and sounds good and it's nice and balanced and everything like that. Then we'll move those clothes over to the dryer and I'll show you that the dryer sounds good and that it's heating and both of these work as described. Excellent condition. So we'll come back for that spin cycle in just a minute. All right, and it's launching into that final spin now. It's draining out all the water. I'm gonna let it kick in and get up to full speed, so I'll come right back for it. All right, and here we are on full spin. It's going full speed. See, it sounds good. It's nice and level, it's not off balance or anything like that. I'll show you, it's spinning nice and fast. Lid switch works. That pretty much does it for the washer there. So we'll let that finish spinning out and then we'll move over to the dryer. Okay, we've got the washer cleaned out there. It's ready to go. And uh, it is a super capacity washer and super capacity dryer. Just thought I'd mention that. So I've got the clothes in there. Those spun out real great. They're nice and light. We'll just go say time dry, high heat. As you can hear, sounds great. not off balance or making any weird noises or anything like that and those are all things you'd want to check for of course the washer went through past its 28 point inspection and the dryer has gone through and passed its 22 point inspection and what I'd like to show you here is that it is heating like it's supposed to so whatever that little red light shines on I can get it to focus a little better you're gonna get the surface temperature so I'm gonna shine that in here right where that heating element tube is. And you can see there's plenty of heat coming out of there. And that heating element tube can get all the way up to, take a picture there, can get all the way up to 325 degrees because the heating element is right below it. But the inside of your dryer, it's gonna get anywhere from 100 to about 195. Just kinda depends on what you have this guy set to. So I've got it set to high heat, so it would get up then to its highest setting. And we've also got the auto setting here. You can go more dry, less dry, somewhere in between. Throw some towels in there, just go all the way over to the more dry. But there you have it. Now you know they both work. Uh, both work great in excellent condition. When I spend my money, I like to know that when I take it home, plug it in, it's gonna work like it's supposed to. So now you know that. And appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please reach out. Have a great day. Thank you.